The way this man gaslit this woman into believing that she was partially responsible for all of his decisions and the collateral damage that came from his decisions should be studied. There was a, um, a big infidelity in New York um, mm -hmm. that took me 10 years to heal from. I was held at gunpoint with my own gun and watched the mistresses I was living with at that time killed in front of me, which she had to bear that burden too. We lost our home to our, arson. Our home was burned that. down. Then um, an innocent person was killed rushing to the fire of our house burning down because of our mess. I think what bothers me the most about what he's saying and how he's saying it is his lack of accountability. He acts as if all these things happened to him. As if he didn't make these decisions that resulted in these things cause and effect. He was the one who cheated on his wife and caused this whole domino effect to happen. He continuously uses us and we and our to just try to make her feel like, no, we did this together. We didn't cheat, sir, you did. He goes on to talk about like healing through their brokenness and other like therapy buzzwords. And it always kind of annoys me when a man cheats and then goes to therapy and acts as if he learned in therapy that cheating was wrong. You knew that before you went to therapy feel like for some men therapy gives them the verbiage to be able to explain away what they did oh I, I cheated because i had abandonment issues yes i cheated because i had an anxious attachment style right i cheated because i had like mommy issues like they just want a reason i'm not saying this like i'm against therapy or like therapy doesn't help and as if therapy doesn't you know point out things in you that you need to see even if you go to therapy and they can explain to you why you did it you knew it was wrong when you did it